calculate the critical depth and the corresponding specific energy for a discharge of 4 meter cube per second in a trapezoidal channel. The bottom width of this channel is 2 meters and the side slope is 1.5 by 1. We need to calculate the critical depth and the corresponding specific energy. And to calculate them, we will use these set of equations. Okay. First, the condition of minimum specific energy is known as critical flow condition and the corresponding depth is known as critical depth. In this specific energy diagram, you can see that the minimum specific energy occurs at this point and the corresponding depth is the critical depth. These depths y1 and y2 are the alternate depths. They converge at the point of minimum specific energy. Okay. So in this figure you can see that this point corresponding to minimum specific energy is a value of 0 0.867 and the critical depth is 0 0.629. Okay, specific energy was calculated using this equation y plus v square by 2g. y is the depth, v is the velocity, g is the acceleration due to gravity. Okay, now we will calculate the critical depth using these set of equations. Okay, q discharge is 4 meter cube per second, bottom width is 2 meters, side slope 1.5 by 1. Okay. Now, phi is equal to q into m raised to 3 by 2 divided by root g into b raised to 5 by 2. Okay. q is the discharge, m is the side slope. Okay. Now, the value of phi is equal to 0 0.5. 414751 okay and this value uh, is equal to this equation okay these ex expressions are equal 1 plus omega raised to 3 by 2 into omega raised to 3 by 2 by 1 plus omega raised to 1 by 2 so using solver we will find the value of omega okay we can easily find the value of phi using this equation it it is equal to 0 0.414751 okay so 0 0.414751 equal to this equation will give us the value of omega okay let us use solver data solver okay now set objective d15 okay it is the correct cell okay let us set this cell to the value equal to 0 0.414751 okay by changing the variable cell omega so this will give us the value of okay, is 0 0.4716 okay and omega is equal to m into critical depth yc divided by bottom width b we have side slope uh, we have the bottom width now we also have the value of omega so we can calculate the critical depth y c and this will be equal to 0 0.629 so the critical depth has been obtained now let us calculate the corresponding specific energy now specific energy is equal to y plus v square by 2g y is the depth v is the velocity g is the acceleration due to gravity okay now we have just calculated y okay so we have y do we have v no for that we need to calculate the area okay velocity is equal to discharge by area v is equal to q divided by a okay area can be obtained using this equation 
a is equal to b plus my into y top width we already uh, okay we have the bottom width you don't have the top width top width can be calculated using this equation t is equal to b plus 2 my okay so we have obtained the area now top width will be used in obtaining the fraud number okay so right now we just need area and discharge to obtain velocity okay so area using this equation is 1.851 meter square okay and the velocity will be equal to 4 meter cube per second discharge divided by area 1.851 so it is equal to 2.161 meter per second okay so the velocity has been obtained so now it is easy for us to calculate the specific energy okay so e is equal to y 0.629 plus v square which is 2.161 uh, divided by 2 into g and the value of acceleration due to gravity is 9.81 meter per second square so it will give us the specific energy okay so the specific energy corresponding to crit critical depth of 0 0.629 meters is 0 0.867 meters okay and fraud number which is obtained using this equation v divided by root of g into a by t can also be obtained okay okay it is equal to 1 okay for critical uh, depth f will always be equal to 1 Fraud number greater than 1 indicates supercritical flow. Fraud number equal to 1 indicates critical flow. Fraud number less than 1 indicates subcritical flow. Okay. So, fraud number will be equal to 1 for uh, critical flow conditions, which means minimum specific energy and critical depth. So, for a trapezoidal channel carrying discharge of 4 meter cube per second, the critical depth is 0 0.629 meters and the specific energy is 0 0.867 meters. Okay.